Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Granny Gamester here with another beginner's guide to Conan Exiles. Now I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 single player. And in today's guide we're going to talk about specialist ammunition. Yeah, and this has everything to do with arrows. Yeah, and there are four different uh, specialist ammunition recipes to get. So we're going to start with specialist ammunition 1. And you get those in your feats, so you want to go there. Then you want to scroll over to Warrior, and then all the way down to Archer. And once you get here, you can just kind of search for it. And it's right here at level 29. You can get this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this will teach you the light arrow and the ivory arrow. Yeah. Now, the light arrow does just what it implies. It lights up an area. And it's great to have if you don't know how far back a dungeon goes uh, or you don't have a torch with you or you want to see how far something drops when it's really dark in the caves. Uh, this is very handy for that. Uh, ivory arrows are pretty much going to be your strongest arrow uh, at this level yeah, that you can get. Uh, all it does is, is um, increase damage to 15, yeah, which is pretty good. So let's see what these take to make. Now all arrows are made on your carpenter's bench. So we want to go in here and look for our light arrows. And that is going to be right here. Now this takes uh, iron head arrows and glowing essence. Now glowing essence uh, you can get as a drop uh, in any chest that you find in Supermaru and a lot of enemies will drop this so scoop it up when you can because this is what one of the things that you can use it for if you want to make it on your alchemist bench you have to learn the recipe for that and to do that you need to complete the dregs quest and I'll show you where that is it's not a quest really it's a dungeon but let me go ahead and pull that up if I can here uh, you'll find that right here. It's one of the first dungeons that you will do. You will go in there and kill the abysmal remnant at the end of the dungeon and he will drop the recipe uh, for the glowing essence, which then you will find in your alchemist bench. I personally have not done it yet, so I'm not going to be able to find it in my bench. So that's how you make the light arrows. And then the ivory arrows are, in my opinion, kind of expensive to make. Let's see if we can find them here. Yeah, they take 10 ivory, uh, five steel bar and four feathers. Uh, ivory is a drop from, from killing um, um, elephants sometimes. Uh, they are a drop in chest and that kind of thing, or enemies can drop it sometimes uh, up, up in the northern areas. But yeah, not easy to come by. So if you ever see it as a drop, scoop them up if you want to make these arrows. Yeah. So uh, I have these arrows. So we're going to demonstrate how these work. I'm going to just do the light arrows so you can see that. So we're going to put that on this bow. And then we're going to put this in our inventory here. And we're going to fire right up into this corner. So you can see it does a good job of lighting it up. It really does. The only problem is they don't last very long. Yeah, I wish they did last a little longer than they do. Yeah. So that is ammunition one. So let's go and find specialist ammunition too. So let's go back into our feats, back into warrior, down to archer. And specialist ammunition you can get at level 38. And this will allow you to make healing arrows and poison arrows. Yeah. So let's take a look at what those take to make at the carpenter's bench here. So healing arrows, and I do believe this goes by alphabetical order. So the healing arrow is going to take iron head arrows, aloe leaves, and the water orb. All very easy to get. And some of my other guys, I have showed you how to actually uh, use and, and make the water orbs. Yeah, they're not difficult at all. And uh, yeah, 
And once you make one arrow, you will usually get 10 in your inventory from one arrow. Yeah. So that makes it a little less expensive to make. And then, of course, the, uh, again, the um, poison arrows. Yeah. So let's take a look at those. Now, poison arrows are, are just awesome. Those take an iron head arrow, a, a gaseous orb, which is dropped very frequently from enemies. And you can also find them in the chest in Supermaru. And feathers, that's what those take. So let's go out and take a look at what those can do. Now, this guy over here is not an enemy, but it will work. So let's go ahead and go into this. And I have a poison arrow right here. So let's put that on this bow. And then we'll go ahead and put that. And there we go. So if you just fire that at their feet, you're going to get a... <laughs> He didn't last long at all. You're going to get a nice poisonous cloud. Now, this will not damage your thralls or your pets when you use these. So these are great to use in battle if you want to help your uh, thrall out, uh, defeating, trying to defeat a, a, you know, a large boss or anything. So you can see it's quickly taking him out. And if you noticed on the bar, you'll see... A little cloud on the right hand corner so again look at the red bar and see it there's a little cloud uh, it shows up a little cloud icon icon and that tells you that they're being poisoned yeah and then the healing arrows let's go ahead and take this off and again uh, these have been nerfed unfortunately so let's put that on here and then go ahead and put that up here. But when you're using the healing arrows, what that's going to do is create this blue cloud. So if your thrall is standing in that, um, it will heal them. Yeah, and your pets. So awesome. It's, it is helpful. Not as good, again, as it used to be, but it is helpful. All right, and then, then there is uh, Specialist Ammunition 3. So let's go in and take a look at that. Scroll down to our Archer. And it's two, where's our three? There it is. And with this, at level 49, you're going to learn how to make explosive arrows and oil arrows. And these are two of my absolute faves. So let's go in and see what it takes to make these. Now, there's quite a bit of uh, ingredients to the explosive arrows, but they're not difficult to get. Um, uh, by the time you're this level, you should have a lot of these materials already in your uh, storage. So let's look at the explosive arrow here. I think, where are we? There we are. That's going to take iron head arrow, tar, dragon powder, and feather. And again, they are made at the carpenter's bench here. And dragon powder is going to be made in your fireball cauldron which is this right here now i have the improved you do not need the improved the regular will work and you will find it right here now that takes uh demon blood brimstone crystal and steel fire to make yeah uh, a lot of ingredients kind of expensive but again one arrow is going to give you 10 in your inventory yeah so if you can only make two arrows you're gonna get 20 of the explosive arrows which is is fine that's perfectly fine and then the oil arrows those are going to take those are going to take iron head arrows tar glowing essence again and feathers all easy ingredients to get so you shouldn't have any trouble with that at this level 
So, uh, yeah, let's go out and see what these do. These, uh, like I said, these are a lot of fun. The explosive arrows are great to use on meteor showers, yeah, to get your star metal. Uh, of course, you can use uh, the fire orbs to crack open your uh, meteorites, but these explosive arrows are just so much easier, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put explosive arrows on this one and we're going to put this right here and then let me make sure I've got this let me take that off first I want to make sure that I get the, the drawback to this is that once you put these arrows uh, on your bow it does not tell you <laughs> yeah what arrow you have on there so if you've got multiple bowls which i will do with the oil and the explosive i want to have at least two bows one with oil on it and one with explosive arrows and uh yeah because it doesn't tell you it can be confusing on which bow has what so there we go so the explosive arrow which is right here and we're going to fire this and you can see it makes a little small boom like so it does do damage but let me show you something with this you want to take this one off come on there we go <laughs> what did i do take that off oh my goodness yeah all right, we want to put this one on. This is the oil. So we're going to throw down a little splat of oil. You can see all the oil there. And then you want to put on your explosive arrows and shoot right on top of it and watch what happens. Kaboom! Yeah, and then you have a, a blazing fire going, and this can do a really serious damage to the enemy. And this is great in purges. Yeah, a lot of fun in purges. So let's see if we can do any damage to this guy here. He's kind of walking towards me. So we're going to make this right here and then put an explosive arrow right on top of it. And boom. <laughs> yeah, he's standing right in it. So like I said, it will do a lot of damage, a lot of fun in a purge if you've got uh, a lot of enemies at your gate. Yeah. Of course, they have to stay in the area, which he's not cooperating when it comes to that. But it uh, can be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, even in uh, PvP, you probably would have fun with that one. So, yeah. There we go for uh, explosive and oil arrows. A lot of fun. And then there is the Specialist Ammo 4. Now, this is a recipe that you do not learn in your feats. No, you have to get this from the um, Lockstone Cave. And I will show you where that is on the map. That is up here. And up here, you're gonna be dealing with the children of Jill. So I'm gonna show you how to get there, where to start and go right to this and how to get the, get the drop. So let's go there. Okay, so here we are at the beginning of the path that you need to take to get to the um, Lockstone Cave. And behind me, uh, you will see the Great Dam and the Northern Aqueduct and then this big field. And that's where you'll want to look for this path. So you can see that all right behind me here. And once you locate this path, just follow it up. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. It's pretty plain to see. And you want to continue on it until you get up to this fork in the road up here. And you can see it's going to go up the hill to your right as well as out there. You want to take this one up to your right. And once you get up here, you're going to be confronted with uh, Children of the Jill. And you'll get a little practice fighting these out here. 
Uh, watch out for their uh, wig bash. It's pretty powerful. Uh, when they jump up in the air, you want to make sure you roll out of the way. You don't want to get hit with that. Uh, I would let my thrall take him out for the most part. But he's going up that hill, but that's not where you want to go. You want to go right around here where you'll be met with a couple more. Yeah. So there's these two guys. But head on into this cave right here. You'll need a torch. There's one right there. Uh, I do have invisibility on, so these guys will not bother me while I'm in here. Now you can see there's one flight of stairs here. Then you're going to turn a little corner, and, and then will be your second set of stairs. And then once you get to the bottom, if you look straight ahead, you can see a little opening right there. And that's where you want to head. It can be a little disorienting in here, especially when you um, are battling these guys. So, yeah, beware of that. And this is what you're going to be looking for. This is like a little boss arena here. There's a set of stairs here. And then you can see there's um, this little arena with the boss in the middle. And then you're going to have two smaller guys here. You might want to take these out while you let your thrall handle the boss. Yeah, he's pretty powerful. So just help your boss out with maybe some poison arrows or something like that. Uh, he can take you out pretty quickly with his wing bash if you don't get out of the way. So, yeah, take out these two guys. But once you take him out, he will drop a scroll um, that will give you the recipe to Specialist Ammunition 4. And you want to use that scroll. You want to hit your square button to actually open it up. Um, because if you don't do that, you won't find it in your uh, carpenter's bench until you do as an option. So yeah, that's where you find it and how you get it. So let's go back to base. I will meet you there. Okay, so here we are back at the carpenter's bench. So now if you open this up, you are going to have the um, specialist ammunition four. And that is going to give you fire spark arrows, acid arrows, and smoke arrows. Yeah. So those are right here. Whoops. Fire spark here. Whoop. There we go. And those are going to require branch, witch fire powder, black blood, and feathers. Again, you get the black blood from harvesting those children of the Jill up there. Just take your axe and cut them up and they'll drop the black blood for you, especially the boss. So um, yeah, and the witch fire powder is another feat that you need to get. And I'll show you where to get that. You want to go into feet. You want to scroll over to your little paintbrush and it's right here on the top. Yeah, alchemical powder is the one you want to learn at level 46 and that will give you the ability to make witch fire powder at your alchemist bench yeah so that's pretty easy so let's open this back up now let's go to our acid arrow and fire spark arrows by the way they cause poison are not poison i'm sorry bleed <laughs> yeah they cause bleed which is is pretty nice that's a, a great one to have and then the acid arrows and those take branch, volatile gland, black blood, and feather. And the volatile gland, again, is gotten from the exploding imps and the uh, lizards on the um, river in this area. Let me show you really quickly where. Whoops, get out of there. There we go. Yeah, the lag is uh, quite something. So right here, you can find them, and you can also find them over in this area on the they're the ones that spit the poison at you. Yeah. So just get those uh, to get the volatile glands. And then we have now acid arrows. Let me tell you what those do first. Those uh, will um, destroy armor and it will damage the thrall. It'll do both. So it's a nice arrow to help out your thrall with if they're battling a um, particularly tough boss with a lot of armor and then there's the uh, smoke arrow yeah now the smoke arrow does just what it implies it, it creates a cloud of smoke so it makes the um, 
the uh, harder for the enemy to see you if you're standing in it and that takes branch raw ash black blood and feather and again raw ash is gotten from harvesting the obsidian up north with the sickle you can also get it as a drop in the chest in supermaru so those are pretty easy so yeah let's go out and take a look at what these will do And again, I'm going to use our subjects down here. Oh, good. They respawn. So I do have some of these on me, but let's put these down there first. So let's try our acid arrows. And where are those? Right there. So let's go ahead and put those on this bow. Put that up here. Now, I'm not going to actually hit the boss ones. Let's see if we can... he probably run, though. I don't know. But acid arrows create a yellow smoke. Now, you see, it did damage him. But because he didn't stay in it, it didn't damage him too much. But you will get a cloud like the poison cloud that shows that there's um, ba damage being done there. But again, they, it does both. It damages the armor and... Um, the enemy at the same time yeah so let's go ahead and put that back now let's see what the fire spark arrow does let's put that on the bow now fire spark causes bleed so let's hit this guy and as you can see right away on his bar He's gotten bleed, the little icon that shows the dripping blood on the right-hand side of his bar. Yeah, he has bleed. So you can see, even though I'm not hitting him again, the bleed is causing his bar to go down. Yeah, so again, this is, this is kind of handy to have. Helps your thrall out. It doesn't do as much damage as poison, but it is a continual draw on their health so, all right we have that and then of course there's the smoke arrow so let's demonstrate that one and where are we here where are we come on there we are so let's put that on our bow And we're just going to put one down right here so you can see what it looks like. And poof. It's got me in this cloud. Now if I step out of the cloud, back off here, you can see that's what it looks like. But the minute you step into it, yeah. Now I haven't actually tried these, so I really don't know how well they block the enemy's uh, view of you. I don't know. But they would be fun. Yeah. Especially if you're in your group. You get overwhelmed with the group. If you happen to have these on you. Uh, that might be fun to use. Yeah. So alright guys. Specialist ammunition. One, two, three, and four. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome to have. Um, yeah. They're fun to play with. I would definitely uh, try them all out. Uh, purges is a great place to use them. Yeah, especially the poison arrows. Uh, yeah, they, they take them out really quickly. So, yeah. Well, all right, guys. If you found it helpful, please give me the big old like. And if you'd like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. And I will leave a link at the end of this video to my beginner's guide playlist. So you can sift through that and see what uh, might apply to what you want to know. And uh, yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, GG out.